Hi, this is Norbert with GQ Audio. I'm playing the rollerball game. It works well for this tutorial set mainly because it's got some really basic game mechanics. I can just move this ball around on the plane and try to pick up these little rotating cubes, but of course there's uh, no sound. I can pick these things up and I get some confirmation that I've done it successfully, but there's nothing to listen to. And that's what this next tutorial will cover. We'll add a couple basic sounds to this, one sound effect when you collect each cube, and then a music cue when you get to the uh, win message after you've collected everything that's on the game board. So let's switch over to FMOD and take a look at how this can be done. Um, take a look at the description below the video. Uh, you'll have a link where you can download both the Unity and the FMOD projects that are associated with this. Um, this FMOD project is complete within itself. The sound effect uh, event that we want to work with right now is the second one, second event on the list called Pickup Single. Sounds like this. And if you've checked out the other videos in this tutorial series, there's a few things that are in place here. Um, if you haven't seen those, let me just quickly review those. Uh, those of you who are looking at this one for the first time will definitely want to go back and look at the first tutorial because there's a few basic things that you need to understand in order to get this to work in your own projects. Uh, the playback of this was looped when I played it back, but as you can see, this loop button is not ticked right now, which means that this won't actually loop when it plays back in the Unity game. This event that I named Pickup Single uh, was created here by right-clicking and choosing New Event. I created this event, dropped this sound here into the timeline, made sure it was lined up at the beginning so it would play, so it would play immediately when that sound is cued. Other important thing to do after the sound event is there, assign it to the master bank, as you can see I've done right here. And the other thing that's really important is to make sure that the default 3D panner that will show up here on the master track has been deleted. You don't need that because we're not doing anything with positional sound in this particular lesson. So at this point, the event is set up and this is ready to go. Two essential steps in order to get the sound prepared to go into the Unity environment. Uh, the first of which is to go to the file menu and choose build. It doesn't take long to build this project because there's not a lot of assets associated with it, but that bundles everything together. And then file, export GUIDs, bundles everything in a text file, and that allows Unity to point to all of the different assets that are required in this project. So once we've done those few things, everything's done in FMOD, and we can switch back to Unity and bring those assets into our game. In the second tutorial in this series, we talked about importing the FMOD Unity integration package. You know that that's in your project when you see FMOD show up here. And again, this is something that's only part of the pro version of Unity. So if you have the free version, you're not going to have access to this particular functionality. But if you do, from the FMOD menu, you can choose Import Banks, and then browse to wherever your FMOD project is saved. And at this point, you will choose the Build folder. There you can see that GUIDs.txt file. Click Choose, and Unity lets you know that it's importing Master Bank and a few different Master Bank related assets. Click on Continue. It also lets us know how many assets are coming and going in this process. Uh, this is a, a blank Unity project right now, so I haven't removed any assets. I'm adding five assets, and I haven't changed or moved any assets. Click on Continue. It completes that process, and it adds an FMOD Assets folder right down here in the project hierarchy. And if you look at this list, Pickup ran, pickup single, rolling, wall hit ran, win. These are the same events 
that are listed here in the events section of FMOD. So everything that I've created in FMOD is part of the build, is part of the uh, GUIDs that we export, and ultimately part of the things that come into Unity when we go through this import process. Well, I said that we would attach a sound effect to the event when our uh, the sphere, the ball, the player character, whatever you want to call it, rolls over a cube and collects it. In this tutorial, if you go to scripts and open up player controller, you really have just about everything for this game. And the event that happens when you collect one of those cubes is here, at least in this version, it's on line 55. There's a function that you create called set count text where you update the number of those cubes that you've collected along the way. This gets called every single time you collide with one of the pickups. So this is a good place to put our code. So I'm going to create an empty line here. And right now I'm just going to jump over and grab this code from a file where I have it saved rather than type it out now, which is not a very interesting thing to watch. Um, final file will have this code for you. It will all be commented out. And so you'll be able to look at this and understand exactly what every line is doing. Uh, in short, though, this line references the FMOD Studio system, and it does something called play one shot, which means it's going to play a single sound effect. It will play it with whatever parameters you've set up in FMOD. It uses this syntax, event, colon, slash, pickup single. Pickup single, of course, is the name of that event that we created in FMOD. With that line of code in place, I can save this updated script here in MonoDevelop and then move back to Unity. Unity takes a little bit of time to think about it and update it. We don't see any errors showing up down here, so everything should be working well. Go ahead and save the Unity project and test it. And I should be able to roll, yeah, right at one of those cubes and we get that pickup sound. And because this is an event that's tied to every single cube or pickup that's in the game, this sound is going to be heard for every single one that we collect. And that's working perfectly. So I'll go ahead and stop that. Next thing I want to do is add a music cue. Uh, if you remember from the demo that we looked at earlier, after you've collected all 12 cubes, there's a little message that says you win. It'd be nice to have some sort of music that also confirms that success. I've created that here in the FMOD project. The event itself is called win. It's just a, uh, well, it's an audio file that I used for uh, another game project I did a few months ago using FMOD and Unity and uh, Microsoft's Connect. It sounds like this. This event is set up identically to the sound effect that we looked at earlier. The event is assigned to the master bank. There is no 3D panner here. Sound sets to play, but will not loop because this is something that we don't want to repeat. You win the race, or in this case, uh, you pick up all the cubes, and that's that. Um, I don't need to do any sort of exporting right now. I did that earlier. I haven't made any changes to this. So everything that I did when I went through the build and the export goods process is fine. I can leave that as is and come back to Unity, open up the player controller script, and again, I'm going to grab a chunk of code. No, actually, rather than grab that chunk of code, let me just take what we typed earlier, copy that. I'm going to paste it right down here under the uh, you win text update because we want these two things to coincide. The line that I pasted um, 
references the event pickup single. That's the sound that we hear when we get one of the cubes. That's not what we want to hear. Uh, we want to hear the event that's called win. So I can just change the name of the event from pickup single to win. That should work exactly as I need it to. Save the script, switch back to Unity, take some time to think about it. No errors, so everything should be okay. Go ahead and test this out. Now we're not hearing anything very different right now. And we're pick, picking all these guys up, just as we'd expect to. Whoops, missed that one. And I've got one more to go. We should hear the music cue right now. Fantastic. Good, so everything works the way that I wanted it to. But one thing that you probably noticed is that each of those pickup sounds is identical. Every time we roll the ball over one of those cubes, we hear exactly the same thing. And that really gets a little tedious after a while, especially with 12 of these. So in the next lesson, we will add some randomization so that the pickup event, event will still happen in the game. But every time it does, there'll be a slightly different sound effect. Add a little bit more variety and add a little bit more audio interest to the game. So if you want to see how that's done, take a look at the next, next lesson in the series. And thanks again.